was introduced to Pack Room by our friend Veronica, and she was like, yeah, I'm going on Pack Room, and I was like, I don't even know what that is. Something to do with Asian studies, and I was personally like gonna go to Spain or somewhere where everyone else goes. Then I decided, well, okay, so Pakrim is this is one, like literally a once in a lifetime opportunity that happens every three years at our school. I personally think that's the whole point of college to do something new. I decided to come on Peck Rim because I have always wanted to have kind of a, I guess, an adventurous side of myself and I saw Peck Rim as a good opportunity to do something that is out of my comfort zone. Peck Rim was offering um, the chance to really see like a whole diversity of different countries and different cultures and different customs and food and toilets even. <laughs> um, but really, um, it was also offering sort of the, the chance to be in the place where that you were learning about. Like I thought that connection was really cool. I decided to come on Pack Rim because I have always wanted to travel and see the world. And Pack Rim gave me that opportunity to see so many different countries and have a learning experience totally different than anything else where it's hands-on, it's experiential, and it's a community where I get to make new friends and create relationships that is just totally different than any other travel, travel and study abroad program that's out there. When I heard about Pack Rim, I thought, why would anyone not want to come on Pack Rim? When I think of my best day ever on Pack Rim, I think of mostly Mongolia. There's just herds of like wild horses running around, the sun's setting, there's beautiful grasses and hills and mountains and everything's perfect. It's the biggest sky you ever saw. That was the biggest sky I have ever seen and I still think back to that um, all the time.
just being out in the open atmosphere. It was like open air all around us, like a big, beautiful sun, um, and animals and children. And I don't know, I just like felt this click in my heart. And I that was like the first time in the pack room that I like felt my life changing. Bomb.com. It was just a really cool opportunity to talk to uh, someone so knowledgeable in the field. Malaysia was one of my favorite countries. We did a lot of hikes. I'm all about like hiking and outdoorsiness. We had made such great friends with the lady cooks who were these fabulous women. They taught us a traditional Malaysian dance, which ended up being the electric slide. I'll never forget watching the bats at Malila. It was just sort of magical. I decided to go on Pack Rim because um, I've always been interested in traveling. I had never really been abroad and I thought this would be a great chance to experience not just one culture but to see several different ones and see how they all relate. You get to go to so many different places, you get to see so many different ways of life, so many perspectives, and you get to meet great people. The connections you have on this trip are incredible. I decided to go on Packram the moment I heard about the program. I knew that I'd be able to learn way more than sitting in class for a semester back at school, and I'm so glad that I did it. The motorcycles, oh my gosh, they were everywhere. I guess, to be honest, the reason why I'm here is because of the food. My love for Vietnamese food is so intense after having been to Vietnam that it's hard for me every single day to not eat a donut kebab or whatever it is that is Vietnamese and delicious. Yeah, I think I might actually be willing to kill somebody for a donut kebab right now. So, I mean, which is better, University of Puget Sound or University of Literature? That is a top choice. I really like, you notice the beautiful decor of the dragon symbolizing oh, power. I really appreciate yeah. that, and I feel like UPS could offer a little bit more of that. So maybe a statue, maybe take out Jones Fountain and put just a dragon, just like, ah! Halloween in Vietnam was a pretty interesting experience. We uh, were the only ones who showed up dressed up as anything. However, we uh, still stole the show, obviously. My best day ever was in Vietnam. We all went to Ha Long Bay. It's pronounced Hai Long Bay. Not him. Alright. 
to see the sites and explore one of the Vietnamese World Heritage sites. At the end of the day, we all went to a karaoke, well, not a karaoke bar, what became a karaoke bar because the woman singing offered one of us the mic and we never put it down. I went bicycle riding with three other pack rimmers um, along the old city wall. I just felt this incredible sensation of freedom um, and joy. took a bamboo ride on a river through all these different mountains and then later in the day we got to climb up the mountains and see the river and see where we had been. Pakram has taught me what it means to be a family. Pakram has taught me how to be myself and to be silly and to be comfortable around other people in our group. I just really value the relationships within our group especially by this point on the program, later on, um, where we are getting a lot more comfortable with one another. I will look back upon and say, like, these are some of my best friends um, that I've made, period. As you can see, we jumped a lot. Uh, almost every place we went, we jumped. You could almost say that we jumped our way across Asia. The temples at Angkor Wat were just sort of mind-blowing in their, their size and their intricacy. Since the invasion, she never seen.
The Cambodian shadow puppet performance was really a one-of-a-kind thing. This kind of dance interpretation was just unforgettable. Those shadow puppets were so heavy, I could barely even lift one. <laughs> I wanted to come on Pac Rim because there isn't really another program like this. I knew there would be opportunities here along the way that I would never have otherwise on any other type of study abroad program. Pac Rim has connections that give you really unique experiences that you would never get if you traveled independently. I think that we are given an opportunity that is um, that would not be possible traveling on your own and is definitely not possible through a lot of different study abroad programs. Just being able to meet all sorts of different people like this at every location that we've been in, in such a variety of countries with people from such different backgrounds and value systems has been absolutely magnificent and really irreplaceable to get that type of uh, experience. It's been amazing. India was almost a sensory overload. There were just colors and sounds and scents everywhere, constantly inundating me with different things to experience and take in all at the same time. Playing cards with the monks at the Tibetan monastery in southern India was great. We played cards every night. They would teach us Tibetan and we would try to teach them English. I'm a donate, so I'm a donate.
The trek was the trek was cool. It was cold, but it was cool enough that the cold didn't really matter. I just had one of those moments at Gochala Pass, uh, 16,210 feet, looking at Mount Kanchenjunga, the third largest mountain in the world, only on pack rim. Pacrim has taught me confidence, perspective, Not patience. Everyone can surprise you. Mostly, I guess, about myself. Pacrim has taught me how to be comfortable in the uncomfortable. To let go, courage. To be completely fearless of new things. Just to put myself out there. How to just take things one day at a time, one step at a time. The importance of a good sense of humor. It, I mean, it's basically changed my entire way of thinking about, um, about the rest of the world and about people. And I think um, not only has it given me a lot more patience, but um, I feel like I am a lot more open to new ideas and new cultures. And, um, and I'm able to embrace that and understand that in a way I didn't expect to be possible. Now I can't imagine not having come on this program. It's been a really great decision.